In your home, nothing brings more elegance than a crystal chandelier. But if you thought crystal was out of your league, think again. The guys at Connecticut Lighting Centers have something for every budget. Please welcome Dave Director and Antoinette Wallen. Welcome back, guys. Thanks for being here. Thank, Thank you. you. And how apropos, because Antoinette, I hear you are the queen of style at Absolutely. Lighting Centers. Oh, and she won't deny it. I love it. <laughs> crystal was once seen as very formal, but you're saying that these types of chandeliers can really be used anywhere in the home. They don't have to just be for the foyer or the dining room. Oh, absolutely. Um, as you can see, we have five different styles. I mean, these you can use, say, in the foyer, in the kitchen. So wherever you need a crystal, it's very affordable, can be used anywhere in your home. How has it become so much more affordable that you say that there's something for every budget? I think that um, today, today because of the use of different frames, because of the use of different types of crystal, today you can do almost anything. And most manufacturers today have played off with all different versions with all different types of crystal. And at Connecticut Lighting Centers, you carry something called Schoenbeck, those kinds of products, right? Correct. Recently bought by Swarovski. Are they like the biggest in terms of, of crystal? Schoenbeck's been around since 1870. And, and if you go to the White House, that's a Schoenbeck chandelier. Oh, okay. They're all over the world. And what was um, really kind of cool is that Swarovski had just bought them and now is introducing a whole line both under Schoenbeck and Swarovski. So we're really excited. So show us some examples of what you brought today. And they're not the traditional. Like when I'm thinking a crystal chandelier, I'm thinking something like this, which is more traditional. But the one on the end there, explain that to us. This is a little bit more traditional. I mean, contemporary, actually. Yeah. And what's nice about this is that you're having an uplight which sort of draw your eyes to the ceiling can actually be beautiful in a foyer piece. And we do have, say, colors now for you crystal. Isn't that gorgeous? My eye directly went to that one at first. It is beautiful. What, what kind of crystal is that, the color? That's actually, um, that's, this is called rock crystal. And that's actually quartz. Um, and it's quartz cut. And that's raw quartz. That's what quartz is, raw, um, along with colored crystal. And the colored crystal right next to it, this one right here. That's teak. That's teak, actually. Teak, teak. and that's, that's a, um, a Swarovski product that is only put out by them. Um, and as you can see, the color is just unbelievable. And in that one, they happen to use a lot of um, larger penalogs that, that these are all hand-cut crystals and um, have incredible brilliance, but different. So where would you recommend a chandelier like that for? In what part of the house? This chandelier can be used mainly, say, like, say, in a dining room. Mm -hmm. You can actually use it in your master bedroom. Wow, it would even go nicely with your dress there. The colors are great. I know. You know what? This dress is making a statement today, is it not? <laughs> it's true, though, because I have seen more and more, like, mini chandeliers used in master bedrooms, master bathrooms, too. I mean, if powder you have, rooms. Powder, powder rooms. rooms. If you have a large, the room has to be big enough to yeah, be able to Yeah, and I think, again, you know, is, is getting out of the mold of what people thought crystal as. Crystal's not that formal. It can be very informal, and it can change the whole look of a room. You were talking about this, um, go back to this. Right. That's the old world. That piece actually um, is from the early 1900s. Um, they really haven't changed that much at all. The molds actually to make that crystal are the same molds they used in the early 1900s, and it's still really popular today. So what is going to be more affordable? If someone comes in and they say, listen, I love the look of crystal. I'd love to incorporate it into my home somehow. You know, what's the more affordable way to go? Any of these can be, say, affordable. Now you're getting into, say, the colored, and I mean, the crystal is what is going to be doing that. You can go with, say, smaller sizes. Mm -hmm. um, the clear crystal, again, you're getting into that nice elegance with this. Look at that. You're getting a nice glow. Yeah, when uh, the light hits it, it's Absolutely. Beautiful. So you can get, say, crystals ranging from, say, $200 to, say, $20,000. Wow. So again, connect with lighting has it all for everyone. It's a big range. A we, big have, range. Well, uh, we, have, we have a whole room dedicated just to crystal. We have over 2,000 square feet of, of area that is just crystal chandeliers, and they're all types of crystal. Yeah, we're looking at some video. Look at all of those. Wow, a big selection there. It's got to be a little overwhelming to pick when you come in there. It, it, it is yeah. overwhelming, but what I think um, we, we opened this room a couple years ago, and the reason we did it was to allow customers to be able to actually look at different price ranges in all different types of products and all at the same time, not have to run from one part of the showroom to the other. Um, this has from contemporary to very traditional mm -hmm. to little pendants to 48-inch wide 
for your chandelier. I've been in that room at your shop before, and it's almost you. You keep it a little darker in there. I don't know if you do that on purpose, but it's done on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. See, I had a feeling that it might be. But are you going to get a different look of the light or the chandelier depending on the lighting in your own home? Absolutely, and that's that's where people kind of are under the misconception. Just because crystal has. Um, Crystal, the, the color that you get from crystal has to do with the lead in the amount in, in the crystal itself. And lead is used for two reasons. Number one, it refracts light, so you get all those brilliant colors. And number two is um, it makes it easier to cut the crystal. Okay. And that's why they use lead. And then another alternative is if you want to try to incorporate crystal into your home, but you don't want to go with a chandelier, maybe you can't carry a chandelier, is you have table lamps as well, right? Absolutely. With just kind of crystal as an accent. And yeah. they're adorned with different with colors. With different colors. Let's say different um, pendulums here, different colors, sort of adding a little bit more decor to the um, style of the lamp. And so say that one over there, is that is the base crystal or what on there? That is all, that, that happens to be um, all crystal. And there, again, bringing in kind of the old world kind of look. It's a very traditional piece. And it's, it's um, instead of going to try to change the look, right. that's bringing back that old world feel. And last time you were here, we talked about the benefits of LED lights. So can, there is contemporary crystal now using LED? Well, what's going to happen in, um, actually, we're really excited. In, in about another month, we are going to become the first Sawarski um, lighting partner um, in the state, actually in the Northeast. Um, and we're going to have a whole line of crystal and LEDs. They'll not only be crystal chandeliers, wow. they'll be wall brackets, they'll be um, recessed lighting. Um, it's really very cool because it's taking crystal again to a whole near different dimension. Right, and you get the look that you want, but in the long run, saving money on it as well. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. All right, guys, thank you so much. And you can check out all these beautiful products for yourself at Connecticut Lighting Centers. Styles own lighting provider, we should mention. Just come to our website, WTNH.com, and click on the Connecticut Style link. Dave and Antoinette, thanks so much for being here. We appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, you very much.